You know, usually when progressives are called out for hating whites, they say, oh no, we just hate white supremacy. When they're called anti-Semitic, they say, don't be silly, we just hate Israel. And when it comes to man-hating, they say, we don't hate individual men, just the patriarchy. Well, except this professor. Take a look. Meet Susanna Denuda Walters, a sociology professor at Northeastern University. She studies gender, feminist theory, all the stuff you'd expect, and has written a book called The Tolerance Trap, how God, genes, and good intentions are sabotaging gay equality. But it doesn't look like tolerance has been much of a trap for Susanna, who apparently convinced the Washington Post to publish an op-ed entitled, Why Can't We Hate Men? Can you imagine this column being written about any other non-privileged group? And don't get your hopes up thinking that maybe the headline means she's going to answer why it's not okay to hate men. Oh no, Susanna seems to have exhausted her own logic and morality and is asking you the question. She writes, Men, if you really are hashtag with us and would like us to not hate you for all the millennia of woe you have produced and benefited from, start with this. Lean out so we can actually just stand up without being beaten down. Pledge to vote for feminist woman only. So the woman only part aside for a second, something tells me she doesn't mean second wave feminists here. Something tells me she wants more of the third wave feminists, who are very eager to mandate equality of outcome in high paying and fun jobs, but when it comes to plumbing, coal mining, garbage collecting, it's perfectly fine for men to dominate. Don't run for office. Don't be in charge of anything. Step away from the power. We got this. And please know that your crocodile tears won't be wiped away by us anymore. We have every right to hate you. You have done us wrong. Hashtag because patriarchy. It is long past time to play hard for team feminism and win. Oh yeah, that's definitely winning if winning is the subjugation of half of the population to pay for the perceived crimes of their ancestors. Tell me, Susanna, have you paid your reparations for slavery yet? Of course, the professor cites hard evidence like the wage gap, conveniently skipping over the fact that, as Christina Hoff Summers puts it, the gap doesn't account for differences in occupations, positions, education, job tenure, or hours worked per week. She also mentions an education gap, but seems to have missed the point a little over a decade ago when the percentage of women in the US and Canada with college degrees passed that of men. Of course, what do pesky facts matter when you have an agenda to push? For Campus Unmasked, I'm Rob Shimshock. If you like this video and support our mission, please make sure to comment and subscribe. If something happens on your campus and you'd like us to investigate, send us details using the form on campusunmasked.com.